Those of us lucky enough to live in a multicultural society like Australia see each and every day a wonderful diversity of human faces. Most of us have been taught that this rainbow of human diversity reflects the human races to which we all belong. We believe that our race is a reflection of our ancestry, pointing to where we, or our ancestors, have come from on the planet. Yet from the viewpoint of science, races aren't real. They are simply an illusion. The fact is that races simply don't match up to the true story of our past that science has been revealing over the last 50 years. Race has been used by biologists for hundreds of years to classify plants and animals, and of course, humans. Yet today, they have fallen out of favour because more often than not, they were described at the whim of scientists to make nature easier to pigeonhole. What evidence was used in the past to identify human races? Well, as it turns out, just about anything. Most races were recognised from the languages people spoke, cultural differences between groups, or simply an educated gut feeling. The skull shapes, hair forms, skin and eye colour, IQ test scores and blood groups used to justify them were mostly retrofitted to each race. But since the 1960s, Genetics has marked the death knell in the scientific race debate. Scientists have found that humans are genetically much less diverse than our chimpanzee cousins. So there's really no room for races. Also, the genetic difference between populations of people living on different continents is tiny, swamped by the vast genetic and physical differences within them. Living Africans, most often regarded as a single race, are genetically much more diverse than everyone else because our species evolved in Africa. Most populations are all mixed up. People migrated so much in the past that they simply weren't isolated from each other for any great length of time. Now there's no denying that humans are a variable lot and that some of that variation, a small amount, even reflects our geographic origins. But this is not the same as saying humans have been pigeonholed by nature into discrete groups we call races. Humans have refused to be classified beyond the fact that we all belong to the single species Homo sapiens.